Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm dirty. <laughs> it's okay. I'm cleaning the house up real good because we're going to start decorating for Christmas soon. Before we start decorating for Christmas, I always like to have the house tidy. Just helps my sanity. But now I'm taking a break because I'm going to can some bacon. Uh, a lot of you have asked me how I can bacon. Didn't know that you could. Super easy. Crazy easy. Do you know the ready cooked bacon that you can get and you just heat it up and it's good? Um, that's what this consistency will be. When it's done in the jar and you take your jar out, pop it open and eat it, that's what it's gonna be like. So, this is what we're gonna do today. We are gonna can some bacon. I found a good deal on this bacon at Sam's Club. It came out to around $4 a pack and nowadays that's kind of the cheap side of bacon. So I grabbed a pack and I was like, I've been using a lot of my canned bacon lately. I need to restock. So that's what we're gonna do, restock. You're gonna need bacon. <laughs> this has to be pressure canned. Meat has to be pressure canned, so you need a pressure canner. You're gonna need some parchment paper. And I prefer wide mouth jars. Gotta wash these up in a few minutes. They've been sitting in storage for a good minute. They're dusty. But that's what you're gonna need. I prefer wide mouth jars. I've never did this with regular mouth jars. I'm sure you could, but the way the bacon fits, it just slides out, slides in perfect. So I recommend these. Let's get started. I'm gonna wash my canner. I'm gonna wash my jars. I wash my jars, I wash my canner. I filled my canner with the appropriate amount of water that my canner takes. Every pressure canner is different. You need to reference your owner's manual to see how much water yours needs. Mine is a Presto 16 quart. It takes three quarts of water. Now, since I have that done, I'm gonna begin with my bacon. What we're gonna do, we're going to par cook the bacon. That means cook it halfway. You're going to cut you off a piece of parchment paper, about two foot long, I guess. And yes, you have to use parchment paper. You can't use wax paper. Parchment paper is dry. There's nothing on it. Okay, now this is what we're going to do. We're going to start laying our par-cooked bacon across. I'm actually doing it like this so the sides are down. <laughs> yes. Fold this over like so, and then fold it over once more. This is going to look like this, and we are going to roll her up. Do it one more time in case you didn't see it. Okay, about, about a two foot piece of parchment paper. Start laying our bacon.
If you prefer to have less strips of bacon, do less strips. Do however many you want. This is just how I do it for my family. to once again fold this up then fold this over flip it flip it so the seam is facing up and roll into the seam Also, when I put this in the jars, I like to put it like this. I got all my bacon canned up. Now I'm gonna take a paper towel with white vinegar, wipe the rims to ensure a good seal. It cleans off any residue, any grease that may have gotten on the seal. And we put a lot of hard work into our canning, so we want the seal to be good. Fingertip type. And for those of you who don't know what fingertip type is, go when it stops. One more. Go when it stops. One more. I'm all cleaned up my area. My bacon grease is still cooling off because I'm going to save that. We, we save bacon grease. I have my 16 quart Presto canner here and I have my three quarts of water in it. In it. That was nice too. Like always, squirt a little bit of white vinegar in your water. It keeps the jars from getting that cloudy residue on the outside. It, that cloudy residue won't hurt your jars, won't hurt your food. It's just not pretty. This helps that not happen. Remember, code jar, code contents, code canner, code water. Everything has to be the same temperature or thermodynamics will do their thing and explosions will happen. So, this is what I'm doing. And no, you don't have to add liquid to this. I have my jars in place. I am I'm gonna put on my lid. I'm not putting on the weight just yet. I'm gonna turn on the heat. Now, it's gonna start heating up. When this little valve right here, when it has steady, when it has a steady stream of steam rushing through it, normally when this little nipple right here, when it pops, that usually means that the steady stream of steam has started. So I go by this. When this pops, it's usually when my steady stream of steam has started. When that has started, we let it vent the steam for 10 minutes. Do not skip this step. The reason you're doing this is because it's pushing all the air out of the canner. And we don't want air in the canner. We want steam. That's what pressure cans. Okay? So right now we're just going to wait for our steady stream of steam and we'll start that 10 minute timer. Hi, it's me. Like you didn't know. <laughs> While I'm waiting for this to start steaming, I'm gonna answer a few questions that I know are coming. The first question I usually get with things like this is why not freeze it? Well, I have a few reasons. And if you've been here on my channel for a long time, you already know about my freezer going out and everything ruining because I didn't go down to my freezer for like a week. I didn't need to. Went down there, everything in it was rotten and gross because the freezer died and it ruined all of my stuff. This is shelf stable. I can leave it on a shelf for years. I don't need a freezer. If electricity goes out, my bacon's safe. <laughs> also, a lack of freezer space. 
I only have so much room in my deep freezer and that is full of deer meat right now. I don't have room for bacon. We're currently saving up for uh, like a stand freezer, but that's still a long time away. Maybe not a super long time, but it's not happening anytime soon. So I, I don't have freezer space. I can buy the bacon when I see it's at a good price, can it up, put it in my pantry, my cantry, and it's there for when I need it and I don't have to go out and spend that extra money on bacon. Yeah, so that's why. Another question um, I'm probably gonna get is can you water bath can? And the answer is no. I know there's like, I'm not opposed to rebel canning, but when it comes to meats, no, that is where I draw the line with Rebel Canning. I do not do that. I want it to be safe, and I'm telling you that I want you to be safe. Please do not water bath can meat of any sort. Please do not do that. It will ruin, you get botulism, and it will just stink up to high heaven. And it won't hold a seal, which we all know that makes it rot. So do not water bath can, please, please. You have to have a pressure canner. Also, no wax paper. Wax paper has wax on it and it, when it gets hot, the wax can get on your bacon, in your jar. It's not good. It's not a good thing. Parchment paper is dry. And I got this parchment paper at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. So it's not expensive. As you can see, my little nipple popped up. Can you see that steady stream of steam? Anyways, it has begun, so. I am going to start my timer for 10 minutes. All right, the timer has went off. We are going to put the weight on. Now I'm gonna turn down the heat just a little. And I'm gonna wait for this to come up to pressure. My pressure for bacon is 15 pounds of pressure for my elevation. Check your manual for your elevation requirements. Okay, we are at pressure. That means I wanna turn down the heat just a little. Start my timer for 75 minutes because I am doing pints. If you do quarts, it's 90 minutes. 75 minutes on the clock. Now this is normal. It's gonna start moving, we call that jiggulating. As long as it's at a steady pace, this is how it keeps pressure. As long as it's at a steady pace, it's fine. If it starts going out of control, turn down the heat just a little bit. This is a 15 pound weight. That's why this dial is gonna stop working and this is just gonna take over pretty much. But now we just wait. Also a little tip, that, <laughs> that knob, that controls your pressure pretty much. Too much pressure, turn the heat down. Not enough pressure, turn the heat up. He's done. So we turn it off. Turn the heat off and just let this sit. We're gonna let it lose pressure naturally. Do not open this, do not take this off until all pressure is gone. Okay, as you can see, the nipple is down. The pressure is to zero. I took the weight off. Now we can open this. When you open it, open it this way so the steam doesn't hit your face because it hurts. See that steam? Yes. Painful, painful it is. And there you have it, the canned bacon. That is how you pressure can bacon. Super easy, isn't it? It's not difficult at all. Just takes a little bit of time. If you try this, I hope that it works out for you. I hope that you're brave enough to try this. I say brave because a lot of people have been telling me they're afraid of a pressure canner. Don't be. It's super easy. If I can do it, you can do it, believe me. I'll see you guys next video. Remember, stay positive, stay kind, be happy. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And I'm very excited about Christmas. Anyways.
Bye. Bye, guys.